Hi, I'm Matt from the Solar Impulse Insider Series. During this show, we're going to be talking about food. Let's see if uh, Marie in Hawaii can answer some of his questions for us. Oh, sorry. I was in the middle of breakfast here. So, I've been talking with the engineers here in Hawaii, and they were telling me that the plane has really strict weight and space constraints, which limits the quantity of food that can be taken in the plane. Remember, Solar Impulse 2 is only the weight of a family car, so every gram counts. Including how much they weigh. So, tell us more. I mean, what, what have they been telling you over there? Well, do you remember when we were at the Nestlé Research Center and talked about what André ate during his epic flight from Japan to Hawaii? We asked Gael how they came up with the ideal solar impulse meal deal. So, we are now preparing all the vegetables for the, the warm meals, the chicken with the summer vegetables. We had quite a lot of, um, of constraints in terms of weight. Uh, and as we have also to answer uh, about the, the calorie and the energy and the nutrition we have to deliver to the pilot, uh, we, we have preferred to, to find some light packaging uh, instead of reducing uh, the weight of food we can deliver to the pilots. I've noticed that airplane food tastes pretty salty. Have you noticed that? Well, that's not too surprising. High altitudes and the lack of moisture in the air do affect the way food tastes. Also. At low altitudes, the pilot will need more proteins, while at high altitudes, he will need more carbohydrates. So these are all things that the Nestle cooks had to keep in mind. And then there's the cold. Wait, does the pilot eat all his food cold? I heard it gets pretty cold in there. Someone did ask me if there was a microwave on board. Well, maybe not a microwave, but Nestle did figure out a way to warm things up. To be able to provide uh, the pilots with some warm food, we selected uh, this type of uh, self-heating pouches. So the way it works is it has to be opened. Then you can put the food in it. And then there is a little bit of water, then which will react with the pad which is inside. And this will create uh, an exothermal reaction which will create heat. So when does the cooking actually take place? I'll show you in a minute. But just wanted to add before that once the food is in its packaging, it can last up to three months without any preservatives. Pretty impressive, huh? Now we are going to uh, sterilize the, the product and in fact cook uh, at, the same, at the same time. And uh, by this process we, uh, we could preserve more efficiently vitamins and uh, minerals than if we have pre-cooked the product before filling the pack. I guess the bottom line is, is that the food that Nestle is making is pretty tasty. It did take them 6,000 hours of research. Yeah, and they even came up with specific menus for the pilots according to his taste. So Bertrand gets his daily dose of Nido milk powder every day. That's all for now, and remember to tune in to the next Insider. Bon appétit! <laughs>